sequence of shadow where they can cool down, they go in, chomp, consumes them, um, or it's, uh, it lives by the lake, just opens its mouth and like creates a vortex.
Hello. All right. How's it going? Hello. <sighs> Alrighty, I gotta check something on my phone, so I'll turn on my happy cam, the great camera. Where is it? Um. Okay, let me add a... There you go. The sad camera. Wait, why is it... Why is it so off-center? This is so bad. Okay, interesting. Looks like I'm doing something wrong here. Okay, I guess I can delete this one. But damn... How's it going for you guys? I'm I'm like insanely busy. Okay, interesting how it Um Now oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> All done on the the coloring again here. There we go. So I gotta do something on my phone here. There we go. But yeah, I fixed everything already off stream. I'm only doing some, only thing I haven't done is and uh, color this, uh, like make this dirty here. Otherwise I already fixed the ugly looking thing that I had here before. So that's cool. I will change the music because this is a little bit too much. Okay, a little bit more quiet for the evening sound for the evening stuff. But yeah, and I have to adjust this so that it looks like Unreal. Like this is what it will look like in Unreal. And this is what I have going at the moment. So I have to change this so that this mode here will basically look like this. So that's the next task. And then the textures are done, 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 done. No more texturing. But I might do this off stream. Let's see how it goes. But right now I'm going to make a mask for my Unreal Engine to, um, material that I started. I will show you what I have there. I was actually testing some things on the weekend. 
uh, making like a neutral lighting and everything. Here I can show you what I what I have. I have to change this to Unreal Engine. All right, and then in here, I can show you my calibration scene that I made, which is this one. And now this has like perfect calibration, so like. If you have a little bit of color th color theory experience, then uh, this is like perfect gray, like 50% gray, and then 50% gray, and you have like 100% black chrome, and then you have 100% white chrome and 50% gray chrome. Oh, hey, hello. Hello, everyone from Wolpsy stream. You joined. Right, and I was, as I was doing this... Uh, just talking about my little scene that I made. Hello! It's going alright. Very, very... Uh, stressful, and not very stressful, but very busy, busy schedule right now. Everyone here joined at the work. Really exciting. Uh, yeah, like a um, look dev scene. So with like all the things that you need for look dev. And then also... Yeah. Yeah, nothing. You're coming from like a colorful, creative art stream, and now you're here in this <laughs> gray. I should make my camera gray as well, right? For perfect uh, color coding. Here you go. Perfect gray. So every so now this really pops, right? Uh, no, but yeah, I made this. Uh. Let me load my sequencer. So basically... When I play this track here... See, like, this rotates. And then the light also rotates, right? So you have this... So this is the look they've seen, basically. Where you can... And then, of course, you have the... You have to look through the camera for this to be like proper. So if I change this to the cinematic viewport and I, this will be the camera, right? And when I play this, you have the turntable here, basically, and then you have the rotation. So this is how you can kind of uh, do your material look diving and if anyone is curious about how I made this, well, the credit is not, I didn't do the, the the research for this, but I have on my Discord, but I can share this link with everyone here. Basically on my Discord, I have, um, I share this kind of information. So let me quickly share the link here for anyone who's interested how to do this in Unreal Engine. It would be this link. And if you guys, uh, yeah, if anyone is curious about more kind of stuff like this to learn more things about Unreal and other things, I on my YouTube, on my Discord channel, on my Discord community below, perfect time for my little ad here to come up, I share more links about other th things that you can learn. And yeah, 
There you can also share your own work, talk with other people who are working on person projects. Maybe learn a thing or two and share your knowledge. And if you're looking for a mentor for like 3D stuff, I also teach on Patreon. But yeah, this is like a scene where you can start. And then, for example, uh, like here I have this. That's where I'm starting right now. This is my scene that I have where I'm starting the material looked at for my character. And yes, it's like Wiz says, you can share cooking and pets as well. If you if you enjoy either of these things or both. Yeah. And now back to my painter scene where I am still busy with the texturing, but this is pretty much done. I now just want to add some dirt to the elbow and add some like history there, like damage. And then I'm going to convert this to Unreal Engine look. Because right now there's a Substance Painter look. And you might know that when you're doing Substance Painter stuff, that in Unreal it always looks different. Always looks different than in Painter. Or Blender or wherever you do it. So to fix that, let me turn off the... This the depressing color look. But now actually it's not necessarily better. But uh, yeah, basically when you are working in Unpainter, you and you want to bring it over to Unreal. There's this thing here called... Can you see my cursor? Yes. There's this thing here called Color Profile. And you want to download the UE5 one. As you can see, this kind of displays, this simulates what it will look like in Unreal. So this will look different than in Painter, right? So you want to download this profile. And then you want to start to make your changes. So that this view here looks like this one. And then when you bring this over to Unreal, it will look like this in Unreal. So, yeah. My pro tip, don't do what I do. Or don't do what I did. And start without using it. Like, right off the bat, turn this on. Before you even start your, your texturing process. Because then you don't have to do what I have to do now. Which is... Uh... <laughs> Fixing all your textures to, to look to look good in this uh, color profile. Yeah. So that's a little that's a pro tip there. Yeah. And uh, as well, I'm for people who are curious, I'm working on material for basically making the suit look cool. So if you're curious here. This is the this is what I mean by cool. You can see like this kind of stuff. That's what I want to do now. Oh, not not today, but I want to do this um, within this project. So I have this open on my screen here at the side, and so part of the stream content that I have going will be the material creation of this. So basically here I have this material that I'm working on. This is like the very start and yeah, I'm going to set this material up so that it hopefully looks something like this here. So let me get this cool look for the subsurface scattering and yeah that's gonna be that but yeah thank you very much for the raid whoopsie i hope you hope you have a good evening oh no a good morning it's like 4 a.m for you right jesus <laughs> <clears throat> oh well that's pretty much that But yeah, back to the Substance Painter. The first thing I want to do is make a mask because I want to ba I want to basically mask out all the parts that have the plastic so that I can use it in the Unreal material. 
to create the subsurface scattering. Nodes melt my brain, don't worry. You can melt your brain and then reform your brain and then freeze it again so that it gets so that it's not melted anymore. If it's melted, you it's it you can shape it. Okay. And thank you very much, Hell, Hell Miniature, for your kind words. Sorry, I kind of forgot to read the chat. Okay. So let's see here. I gotta mask out everything that's not supposed to be there. So I'm just gonna use anchor points to do that. Hmm. So if I create a fill layer here that... Did you make a lot of the materials or install them? Uh, no, no, this is all made. Made from scratch. But it's not like I'm a... I'm great at this. I'm also like asking other people and learning a, learning it from the internet, right? So it's not like I can do this all myself by myself. Set this to pass through, and hmm. Okay, so these are all my elements. I don't want to manually do it for each of one, each each of them separately. So I'm wondering, what if I just? Oh boy, crashing! I'm wondering what if I just take all of them into one folder here. Hmm, this isn't really doing anything, is it? Okay, I can delete this one. And then I can delete these folders here and put this on the top. Oh, thank you very much for the follow, Traumnisi. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. Okay. I have to turn on my brain here. Quite late for, for me, but... 
There's so I know there's a way to just get all the information from these layers. And and then paste them all in this basically. Well, I forgot this, so I'm just gonna... Hmm. Put a paint layer on top and set the channel you want to use the to pass through. Uh, hey, Krilla, what's up? Put a paint layer on top. Wait. Ah, oh, Schiller Beobachter, thank you very much for the follow. <laughs> That's a, that's a funny name. For anyone who, like, for non-Germans, that means silent watcher. Um, paint layer on top, and... Yeah. I'm dumb, wait. Paint layer on top. And set it to pass through. Yeah, but the... And then I should be able to do an anchor point here, right? But... And call this anchor point, I don't know, ornaments, for example. Doing horror as always, awesome. But then, if I put this here and change this one to ornaments, it's the wrong one. Uh, this one. Oh, awesome! Thank you very much. Yeah, that, that's that's something. That's that's what I wanted. But thank you. A little bit slow today. And now I can use this one. To mask this out a little bit more. Hmm, doesn't look 100% white to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clamp my values here, just so that it's really 100% white. Hmm, I can do that here or in the shader later, but maybe I will do it in the shader. Just to make sure that I'm really 100% that it's not going to make like a mask or something. Uh, that's not going to make like gray values or something. But yeah, pretty much this. Interesting how it didn't do this part. Oh. Where is this? Ah, that's why. All right. Ornaments baked. Perfect. There we go. Hey, Kinon, how's it going? Yeah, all right. Mm. Oh, yeah, I gotta do this other way around, actually. And 
And this actually has to be... Actually, I don't even need this layer. I just need this layer. I don't know why I had two layers. Going through the finale of Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, awesome. Sounds like... Um, sounds like you are enjoying the game and I only heard good things so far. So that's great. Mm -hmm. Okay, this needs to be fixed. So that's where I can use this to my advantage. Do you risk up Asterion? Alright, I'll stay out of that conversation since I haven't played the game actually. Oh, this, I'm just gonna turn this completely off here. This is not good. Let's add a paint layer there. And just paint this whole thing out. I don't need that. Hey, how's it going? Confrontation. You're doing good? I noticed that uh, today a couple of Germans are tuning in to the stream, which is cool. Always love me some German artists. I haven't played it either, but everyone talks about that character. All I know is that you can risk, you can uh, get into a romantic relationship with a bear. That's all I all I heard. Hmm. Okay, I think that is pretty much all of the white armor. I'm gonna delete this here. That was all... That's what all heard of, yeah. I'm the last person with the news who's, who gets the news, so for me. That's all. <laughs> I didn't do romance Asterion. I didn't romance anyone in this playthrough, actually. Oh, okay. Lone Wolf, I guess. Nothing against a... Lonely warrior. Jinx? Damn it. Okay, let me quickly save this here. There's actually one thing I wanted to do on the... Um, here, I made the... I made this without... During any proper inset, I need to make this look a little bit better because otherwise it just looks like it's glued on. Lonely alone, loneliness. Exactly. <clears throat> okay. Time to take a quick detour to, uh, to ZBrush. Thanks bro, I'm good. Just eating and thought I would check how far you got since the last time. Have to leave again though, so have a good stream. Oh, thank you very much for joining Confrontation. Have a good evening and enjoy your food, man. Next time you check in, I'm hopefully done with the texturing. And moving on to the... And you will see me working on the head or the materials or the hair. So yeah. See you next time, man. I'll just change my scene here to 
my substance. I also worked a little bit on the head already. Um, okay, where is the arm? Because I wanted to add a nice seam line there, so I'm just going to do that now. So you can see we have this here. And I am a Z modeler user. One of those guys. So I'm just gonna add this in the high poly because at this point I don't really bother anymore. So I'd say something like this. That's kind of what I wanted. Z modeler slaps. Yeah, it's quite handy. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at this, to be honest. And then just add some nice bevel here. Boom. And there we have it. So now I'm just going to load my... The arms that I already made for the high poly. That's just mean you got to re-UV that part. No, I just have to break it again. No reviewing. <laughs> Luckily. Okay. So just have to re import this part here. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna get rid of this part. Pretty hidden. And here I'm just gonna make sure that I'm have enough resolution, so maybe get one more subdivision in there. Which I always like to do with the with subdiv here. I think it's probably enough to do it like this, but let's just go a little bit overkill. And also I want to let's see. Let's take the golden part here, so I can polygroup this by polypaint. Boom. Now I have this polygroup here. And I'm going to give this the same color as this here, because it's supposed to be the same color for a painter. And this here will be its own color, so I'm just going to give it a really ob obviously different color. And then we have this little PC in the middle that is not supposed to be the same color. So I'm just going to take this and give it a, another very obvious different color. There we go. And then I can bake the, like I can combine my meshes. Here we go. And this is my new high poly. Just going to save out this part. So I have a work version of this. Takes a while. And freezes. <laughs> okay. Always. That's like a 1% part of me that's like, I hope it doesn't crash. Okay, let's export this. This is now poly painted, right? Yes, sir. Okay. 
Or wait, is it? Yes. Okay. Export. Arms. And I can already start my marmoset. set. My eyes are blinded by the by that opener opening scene. Okay. Can already put the pen away. It's always annoying to have the pen, tablet and tablet and mouse at the same in the same uh I don't know, in the same desk space. Okay. Here's my mesh. Marmor said already thankfully reloaded all the files for me. You can see here is the elbow. And if I load the group, if I load the high poly, here you can see my changes that I made. So all I have to do is rebake this. to my low poly here. So I just enable only the arms and hit bake. And then in the meantime, I'm already going to open the directory where it will save my maps. And then once it's done, I can, all right, it's done. Just gonna hit save here. Go back to my painter. Because the low poly didn't change, so I don't have to re import anything except for the maps. So I'm just gonna load in my maps here. There we go. And the texture settings. I'm just gonna. Send my ambient occlusion and curvature. And the ID map. Now this will break because I changed the IDs. So we just have to reassign those. It doesn't break. Oh, because I, I didn't actually assign it to IDs, I just painted it manually. So what I'm going to do instead is add a color selection here, turn off my paint mode and just select by color the gold. And now I see why I didn't, why I shouldn't have done that. Never mind. We are using paint. I also see what I did wrong, so. My bad. I actually meant to make this different. So let's select. I forgot to actually do it properly. This is how I meant to do it. Okay. And now this part will be This part will be the color. I will make it this tone because All right. So now now this is correct. Okay. Same thing as before.
Okay, maps are done. Okay, and now I can properly assign this, so I can turn off this, and just select the green part, and for the gold, here, I can minus this one and just select the pink, and turn off the paint, and now this is proper like now this is like a little plate in in there that looks better than what it was before okay small detail but a lot of small details add up and now i can make this little piece here actually different so I'm gonna do that. There we go. Actually, I want to make this pink as well. So let me. Where is this coming from? Here. Okay. Wrong one, perfect. Fried chicken. Where? I need that. Where's the fried chicken? Ah. <laughs> yes, fried chicken is S tier. Okay. Oh yeah, enjoy your food. Mm.
I'm just gonna prepare my mask here for my Unreal material. So all the white armor plate parts get masked out. Just cleaning it this up a little bit. Well, this was actually not correct. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is not supposed to be white. It is not. All right, should be good. Hello, hey, what's up, Agur? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Very busy this these past few days. Okay, gonna put my anchor point here. This is gonna be the SSS mask, subsurface scattering, and gonna add that here. Wait a second. Okay. So this is good to go. This will be my... Oh yeah, I need to add this channel here. So let's do that. Use a zero. L8. And that's it. And now I can... Set this to user 0, change this to white, and basically I get my mask here. And then I have my fill layer here. Damn, tiny pieces of metal, worst thing, <laughs> yes. But uh, overall, combined into one big piece of metal. Okay, so this is my SSS mask. So this is done. Next part. Let's copy this layer. Mm 
Okay. I already know what I have to do now because that's what we have been doing on the arms. So let's just bring all of this in one layer. There we go. Make sure I didn't delete anything wrong and then there we go. And now I can make a new layer here, paint layer, set this one to color and set it to pass through and change to the anchor point here. This is going to be my SSS mask again. And then in my SSS mask here in the fill, I can add this anchor point to basically get all my ornaments in one. And here I can set a fill, which will basically use my plastic mask here. So if I add anchor point here i can say white armor sss and here i can say in this fill layer i can put this white armor so now this is my white armor so this is where i want the effect to happen minus this so i should set this one here in the levels i can invert this so now this is going to subtract this information and I can also make it sharp. Bro is using substance. Ah, no, no, it's, uh, this is actually normal basic stuff. I'm not a substance magic magician, mm, but yeah, now we have this here and we can use it to Basically, we have all the information needed. Ooh. Thank you very much for the bit in famous Nux. Thank you very much. Mm. Yeah, now I have this information here. I can use this to make my observer scattering effect better. Actually, but I think I will also mask this by the dirt. So, where is my dirt? Here, wear and tear. So, here I'm also gonna make a paint layer. Only color. You can select only the color, by the way, if you just press Alt, left click. Then you can, like, usually you have everything on, right? But if you Alt, left click, it will turn off everything else except for that one. And. Anchor point, I'm going to say dirt SSS. So this will be the material. This is the ornaments. And I'm going to add a dirt layer here. Dirt. Select the, this one. Let's see what it looks like. Ah, yes, and I have to set this one to pass through. So now, there we go. This is the layer with all the dirt on it. Mm. And I'm going to invert this because... No, wait. Um, so the dirt here, I don't want the subsurface scattering, so this is actually correct. So now the subsurface scattering is masked by the dirt so that it doesn't gather as much where the dirt is. That's the whole point of this. And then the ornaments on top of that. Okay, so this is our... I believe that's everything. So that's our 
mask for this. Yeah, I think that should be good. All right, so my mask is done. Let's copy this here and focus on the torso and then that should be it. <clears throat> okay, let's start with the, the armor here. You guys know the drill by now. Okay. You gotta add my little custom map. <clears throat> Change this to L8. It's just a grayscale format, basically. And then here, set this to color, set this to pass through, so it grabs everything from this folder. All the masks from this folder, basically, and puts them in one. And you can add an anchor point. This is going to be my ornaments, SSS. Then here, I can link this up. Now you can see they're loading in. I just need to invert the mask and I can adjust it a little bit here so now basically the subsurface scattering later in Unreal will not uh, will be will not happen not happen in these areas because these areas are using a different material right so that's the point of this all right and I can also mask the dirt. So let's do the same with the dirt. So that's why you wanna want to group everything that you have in Painter nicely, so you can, because if you organize your stuff in Painter nicely, it will pay off because you can use some of the features much more um, effectively if you're because they they are they only work if you have everything grouped up properly damn i just made it i was just able to mute myself before i sneeze thank you very much <laughs> okay so paint layer here Pass through and anchor point, dirt SSS, and then here connect this. You cannot see the window because 
because it's a pop-up window and it's not recorded by OBS. But basically here, dirt SSS, boom. Now I will just um one second. Why is this not showing? Should show. Hmm. Oh, it is very, very light. One second. Oh, I think I don't have... Yeah, this has the damage on it. Okay. So I need to grab this layer and put it somewhere else because actually all the dirt is... actually in here. Does this change the look? Not really, right? So I'm just gonna bring those out. Into their own folder again. I will call this plastic armor glossy dirt. And then remake this paint layer I had before. Dirt SS. And now I gotta reload reload this and there we go, now it works. So this should already be basically working because it's literally just reducing the SSS where the dirt is. Yes. Okay. And ornaments on top of that. So this is my SSS layer. I hope you won't feel overwhelmed with CGMA starting soon. Yeah, we will see. I, I think I have to reduce the streaming time a little bit. Because I have a lot of work. So... And actually, I'm teaching a different course on CGMA. Uh, than I thought. And this course has 20 students, so I I will be very busy actually. So I might have to, I, I think I will have to reduce the streaming for the month. I'm teaching the intro to ZBrush course, so uh, and that one has 20 students, so I will be very busy. Yeah. Yeah, so basically 20 homeworks per week to check and also preparing the Q&A and everything. So thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. But yeah, basically I, I think that will be very, I will be very busy that uh, they have, it will be a four week course though so it's not six weeks but four weeks so it should be fine but I think for that month I will reduce my streaming times a bit because it will just be too much but I'm always around on Discord even though I don't post a lot because I don't wanna. I'm already, like, you can see me work on stream and in the VODs, so I don't want to also post there, like, it just gets too much. I would rather share an update on Discord when I have it, because it's such a permanent thing, like, you post an image, so I want to share when I have something, not not every day when I add some small details. Uh, let's see here in the mask, because I forgot actually to add the dirt to the subsurface scattering here. 
So this is my material. This is the ornaments. So one more layer. I'm going to call it dirt. Now, do I have this here or... No, I don't. Okay. It's also in this layer. So I'm just going to take this whole thing and put it here. Shouldn't change the overall look. To be honest. Hey, sup Aventura. How's it going? Um, put it in my own folder here. Call this plastic. Armor, glossy dirt. Add the paint layer with an anchor point called this dirt SSS. Make sure the layer is on pass through. Then I can collapse this folder again. And in my subsurface scattering mask, I should have the dirt. And add the anchor point. There we go. Mm. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hey, Mariano, how's it going? Something is wrong here. So this is going to which anchor point this one okay so i think this one is already inverted because it's supposed to take this one yeah and then the dirt on top okay and then the ornaments those should be flipped wait what I don't need the levels. Okay, I need to fix this here. But why? Mm. They don't even need to be screened. They just need to be inverted. There we go. But because of the... Hmm... There we go. Multiply will fix that for me. Perfect. Okay. And now I just need to fix this little thing here. I can do that. No, I cannot. Okay, I need to fix this in the care in the anchor point here. Or I just have to figure out there. I just have to figure out where this is. I don't know why I wrote that on here. I wish I didn't do that. That was not all of it. Okay. I just thought of a cool redeem you could add. Maybe like two minutes speaking English with a German accent. Oh yeah. Damn. Thank you for the idea. That's a very good one. I'm going to do that. Thank you. That's actually a funny one. I, 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 I like that. <laughs> okay. Jesus, I have it everywhere. Because I copied the layer. <laughs> Doesn't Thomas already have the German accent? Wow. All right, wait, you're gonna lose the VIP. Where is it? Mm. 
No, I don't know where it is. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, now it should be gone. Okay. Now this mask is done. Okay. Save this. I'm actually curious if Wiz hasn't heard you do the German accent. I'm I'm I think she has. But anyways, the It bugs me all the time. You haven't? Alright. It bugs me all the time because I used to live in the UK, which gave me, which made my accent very British, but I dropped it once I, like, I lost it over time once I left the UK just because, I don't know, I have this weird. I know many people actually have this, but. When you're moving to a different country and you're just adapting to the language they speak, you're adept, you are I always adapt to the accent that they speak. So when I came back to Germany or in the Netherlands, I, I dropped the British accent because people around me wouldn't speak the accent and I just took whatever they spoke, which was Dutch English. And back in Germany now, I... There's no one around me speaking English, so I kind of dropped all the... Mm, I, I, I went back to almost a German accent, because now English is just a tool for me and not really a cultural connection to other people. So, for, so now it's just a language tool. So now I just speak whatever accent I... Like, I just have whatever I... I speak whatever I speak. Because I just need to bring across the message and not sound like a local or something. It's it's sad. But yeah. Uh, German accent is... The heavy German accent is very different from what I speak now. Once I, I get the redeem, I'm, you can hear it if you redeem. Redeem yourself. Okay. Uh, let's see. What am I going to do now? I'm going to... I'm just checking something on my phone here. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit of dirt here to the elbow and then actually the texturing itself is kind of done. Have you guys heard about Lamak? What is that? I'm going to go Can I Google that? What is what is that? Ah, Lamak Los Angeles magazine is the definite resource on the people food culture arts and entertainment it's like a it's just a news newspaper or what is this los angeles magazine but you yeah you can but it's a uh, l it's a i i am mac ah okay okay i am mac what is it the art of Jeremy What is this? I thought it was maybe a new clever Ligma joke. Oh boy. Uh what is this? And I would have totally fallen for it because I'm I'm assuming that you guys are being sincere. I wish I was that funny. <laughs> Actually, unironically, that was... Unironically, you were funny by saying, I wish I was funny. I was that funny. It's an event where these artists gathering, making masterclasses and stuff like this. This is great. Thank you for sharing. So let's see, what do we have here? 
is this like an online thing? Or a creating Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse? Ah, okay, okay. This is this is great. Is this in Paris or is it like can people all across the world access the classes if they buy them online? We would never sabotage Thomas. Thank you very much. I'm I will take that with a grain of salt. This year it's in Paris. There's going to be a lot of people like Paul. Uh, I'm not going to butcher the last name. Barth and Gemma, I'm not going to butcher the last name. Okay, that's great. The Art of Baldur's Gate. Art of Rostislav Zagonov. There's an online side of the event. You can assist to the class. Awesome. Yeah, I'm just going to share the, the website here for anyone who's interested. That's pretty cool. So I'm just going to put that here and also I'm going to also post this in the Discord there were servers in the Discord um, Because I think that's pretty cool. Alrighty. -oh. I'm just gonna grab a glass of water. I'll be right back. Perfect. I managed to spill half the drink on my sh on my feet, so yeah. Ah, it's just water, but anyways. It's H2O, yes. What is this one here? I don't even remember. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna copy what I have on the legs. It's gonna be easier than restarting from scratch.
This is it. I'm not gonna lie, the older I get, the more lack my lack of water intake is getting to me. Yes. If I don't... I think I'm getting my migraines if I don't get enough water. <laughs> Nobody's happy to be in Paris. I heard the bread is great though. That's the thing that I... That, that's one of the things I hear that's great about Paris or France in general. Very good bread. Bread is kind of the main thing of France, but the city is terrible. Yeah, I heard it's a lot of dirt there right like it's very dirty in france uh in paris crowded polluted the transport are pretty old and everything is expensive uh, okay Sounds like Amsterdam. Aventura has a question. Does literally any big city in the States? Yeah, it's pretty much every big city in the world, to be honest. Uh, not good. Is it me or does it smell like Abdok? Jesus Christ. Even I know that uh, setup. And I'm the I'm the last person to to get anything. To to, to be like to to to, under, to get like to the new lingo or anything. Hmm. Please, Thomas, you have to ask. Okay. Um, okay, let me ask you the question. What is that smell like? What kind of smell is that? I know, I know. What? Okay, so wait. What's up, dog? <laughs> I know I'm <Agua. laughs> That's the whole point of the oh that's what that was my whole point. Mm, okay, let's do this from here to here. Now this is a little bit better. Not much, what about you? Whoa Crazy man, I didn't expect that. Insane. Wait, I need to change the song. It's a little bit boring. So this weekend I went, to, uh, my girlfriend and I went to the mountains because the weather was super good and it was basically like the perfect sun, the perfect uh, sunny weather mixed with very low temperatures so it was, the snow was still outside. So we drove to the mountains to go skiing and it's about a three and a half hour uh, car ride. And we arrived, we, we, we started at like 7.30 in the morning. We drove there at 7.30 and arrived at 10.30-ish. 
And it was so busy that we couldn't find a parking spot in the whole mm, mountain area, I would say. Because actually what it turned out to be such a... Like we were not, the, of course, not the only ones with this idea. Actually, half the Nether half of the Netherlands, Belgium and Germany had the same idea. So it was so busy that it was really, there was really no parking spot anymore. Nothing on the street, in the parking lots, nothing. Everything was full. So basically what happened was we, uh, w even after arriving there and I parked on the property of one of the ski rental shops and I asked them and they said we don't have any more ski rent skis for rent and when I uh, I called like four different rental shops and we we also just walked through to some and li literally all of them were completely sold out so we drove back after like trying our luck for like one hour. We drove to like some villages in the mountain area and just uh, ate some food there and then drove to see like just visit a different city in the area and then drove back after a couple of hours. So that was the day. And basically spent like 10 hours dry like eight nine hours just driving around instead of doing anything instead of skiing but it was a great day nonetheless but um unfortunate so i hope you guys had a more had more successful plans even though honestly the the trip was still quite nice because we just did other cool things but uh yeah, skiing was not on that list. At least European slander is so crazy. Any, at least anything is pretty much fun with your... What is SO? Most of the time the road... Honestly, for, for us so far, all the road trips were better than the destinations. Significant other. Ah, okay. It was crazy because uh, Google Maps decided that it would be a great idea to to pass through all the villages instead of taking the highway because the the highway was very busy and Google thought, hey, let's take the let's take the scenic the scenic road and the scenic route was actually the route that is usually taken by farmers but on this but, but on this day farmers didn't take that route so what happened was it was so uh, we were driving there and no like maybe one other car drove there before us a couple of hours ago because we could see the marks on the snow but it was so busy the, like the snow was so deep that once we reached the top of the mountain by car my car basically got stuck in the snow and it wouldn't go anymore like it wouldn't go it wouldn't um, it would basically turn off because it wouldn't be able to pass through the snow because it was too high so basically we were stuck there that was uh, fun and then i started basically just started to like dig the snow from underneath the car so that we could move on at some point and like hopefully the car would go would basically turn on again and not suffocate from the from all the snow inside the between the wheels and the engine and um and the axis and all that stuff but yeah eventually obviously we made it out but it was quite funny to be honest it was a very exciting adventure by that point
as someone who lives somewhere with basically no snow, I think I would some simply give up. Ah, <laughs> uh, snow is, is awesome. And uh, it's just... Personally, I prefer it over, over the heat. I can live without the heat. It's so bad in the south because of because of snowstorm in 2014. Because of a snowstorm in 2014, so if the temperature even drops below freezing a little, the city shuts down. Damn. Yeah, that's typical for all the places, including where I live. They, they all the places that are not accustomed to snow all year around. As soon as the as soon as some snow appears, they just stop functioning altogether. Everything is breaking down immediately it's very very sad to see like you have like a couple of drops of snow and all the public transportation is basically obsolete it's ridiculous it's like they've never seen snow in their entire life it's i don't know what's going on there why they are such uh so unprepared it's the ice, yeah, where you can you use salt on the streets, you can get rid of the ice. Like here, the government snow uh, uh, basically clears up all the streets by by covering them with salt, so that the ice melts very much immediately. And snow, of course. And they clear the streets with the... Um, with their cleaning cars, right? With their... Uh, I don't know what you call them. Not snowmobiles, but... They clear the streets. No tires. Yeah, we don't have snow tires either. It's too... You don't really need those if you don't live in a mountain area. Uh, why is this not working? Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted. I can't complain though, any excuse to not drive through the city. Yeah, that's so bad. I just, I just, I don't know, I just, uh, I like driving, so for me it's fine. At least it's one hour away from all from ATL. At least it's one hour away from Atlanta. I don't know what to, what it is. Yeah, parking has gotten expensive here as well. Atlanta is one hour away from Atlanta. All right, that makes sense.
Sí. Let's reduce the dirt a little bit here. <clears throat> Don't want it too extreme, because I do want that nice sub subsurface scattering effect on the material. Mm. But I will add the end layer here. Global dirt surface scattering. That is the pass through. Oops. What happened? Okay. And then here I will just add another one called this global dirt. Boom. What happened? Okay. I think I will reduce it on... Hmm. Okay, I'll reduce the dirt here, I think. I think that's the answer. <clears throat> it's a little bit laggy, but it's because I'm... Because of all the anchor points, because it's updating everything live that I that I made. But I do want that subsurface scattering on the fingers is more important than the than the dirt. So let's get rid of that dirt in those areas. Mask mode runs better, right? Yes, but even if it's mask mode, if you have too many layers, if you have too many things referring to this, so in the anchor point stuff, then it will take a moment to think, probably. Even in mask mode. Good evening. Hey, what's up? Look, Lori, how's it going? Oh, not a master of uh, the poly kung fu at all. I'm getting, I'm getting uh, beaten up by 3D on a daily basis. But you know, you try to bob and weave and see how many hits you can take per day. <laughs> all right, bob and weave, bob and weave. 
But yeah, now this mask has a little bit less. Let's see how far I can take that because I. Hmm. Maybe I will just tune down the dirt. But I do wanna. Where is that? Is it this one? This is the one. Okay. I notice how slow it becomes with some many layers and anchor points. Yeah, yeah. You want to use that stuff. I mean, if you if you notice it a lot, you can just turn them off and turn them on later. That also helps. I'm just gonna reduce my dirt here overall on the fingertips as well. Oh yeah, I see this is quite strong here. Let's help the seam a little bit. I used them for metal. I had some metal artifacts arc anchor points helping me with the white edges with bright, bright metal parts and dirt. Oh, nice. Yeah, anchor points are great. Okay, I think this is much better. So it's really not possible to see. You cannot really see the seam that much. I'll just blend this a little bit better so you really don't see the seam. There you go. Alright. Okay. Let's see, I think I will tune this whole thing down a little bit. Not really a big fan of reducing it like this to be honest. It looks a little bit unnatural. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna get, get rid of this. And or no, actually not. I wanna use it for the far away parts, but then this stuff here I will just Paint out manually. At least then it saves me from painting too much. I can just paint on this part here. Which is, well, how do you avoid making too much weathering and dirtiness? I used to put way too much just to f add false visual interest, which is pretty sad. I mean, it's better to use too much and then t tune it down than using too little and not being sure what to do you know like the goal is you add too much you just go over the top and then you start to tune it down there's no point in in being subtle 
Like, if your end result is subtle because you have been tuning it down a couple of times because it was too much, that's fine. But if you just add, it sub you just add a subtle effect from the start and you just leave it like that, it's probably not going to work that well. So always go over the top and then pull it back because that's much easier than the other way around. To clean the project file, select file clean. You can f find cache settings in the edit settings menu. I do this every morning, every so often to improve performance. Yeah, that's a really good point. I mentioned this also on our Discord, but basically here in file, like like Lori said, you can optimize your scene. You can optimize your, your uh, the size of your file. You can optimize the content by deleting unused content and that can help to clean up your overall scene also quite a bit can definitely recommend that okay i'm gonna do a little bit like a general pass like this because i don't want that much dirt on all the pieces and also, Augur, it's really good to just check your work in other scenes. A great tip that I I learned from someone else and I can always share is take a picture with your phone of your, like take your phone and take a picture of your monitor and look at it on your phone. Because oftentimes that really uh, make gives you a different opinion uh, impression of your work like it's like looking through someone else's eyes almost like for me as well I will probably when I see this in Unreal I will probably make a change right because again doesn't look the same as in Painter also I just want to see like Instead of having, like now, when I see this with dirt, I feel like this makes more sense. Like, it, it's too clean. It's too clean. Funny enough, I get the same thing with with the screenshot. Yeah, screenshot is also great. Uh, what you can also do is take a screenshot, put it in Photoshop, and mirror it. Also helps. Seeing it flipped. That's what a lot of concept artists do when, I, when they're drawing they flip them the canvas because it helps them see the picture fresh with fresh eyes sort of also go to bed and wake up and then look at it again also helps all right aventura have a good evening i'm also gonna stop streaming in a moment actually Um, I did something silly. Where is it? Here. Maybe I'll reduce this to 70%. Uh, but then you cannot really see it anymore. So I'll just keep it like this. All right. That's going to be it from me today, today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. And if you have, if you want to catch me the next time, I'm going to be around tomorrow, same time as today. Again, I might be reducing my streaming schedule for the upcoming weeks because of other, because I have, I'm teaching CGMA and I'm going to do that right so like after I'm like on the site while I'm also working, so streaming will become a little bit harder for me. But yeah. 
everyone have a great rest of your day and stay healthy i'll see you guys tomorrow peace